We're alive. Gold Rush. Chapter 8 Joyride Written, directed, and produced by K.C. Whalen. Previously on We're Alive, Gold Rush. Okay, here they come. Get to the firing holes. If you're here, you're here. If you're not, then you won't be let back in. Come on, let's go. Before anyone wakes up. Do you dare me again? I double dog dare you. You don't, you don't see my pants anywhere around, do you? Uh, I think you tossed them in the corner in a fit of passion. Ah. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, Porky was watching the whole time. Oh, wow, that's weird. Hey, is it going to be awkward now? No, I don't think so. I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty damn comfortable with you. Really? You're just saying that to... To what? I mean, what could I be trying to get that we haven't already done? I mean... Phew. Well, I suppose you'd be wanting more. Ha! Huh. Well, I mean, of course. I mean, that'll never change. Yeah, you say that to all the last women on Earth. Yeah, well, lucky for me, the best one's still here. What the hell is that? The elevator. Big-ass elevator? Come on, follow me. Quickly! It went to the surface. The elevator? Is it picking up or dropping off? Pronto. Ah! Yes! Breathe in that night air! You couldn't have gone with a vehicle with a heater? Oh, come on! The buggy's the best thing for all terrain. We are not getting stuck out here. Crazy. I love it. Oh! Hey, man. My heart's still back there. Wait for it to catch up. <laughs> man, that was so fun. Thank you for bringing me out here. Well, thank you. Feels good to be out here, right? Now I can make it a few more days. A few more... So... So you're going then? No, um... No, I was just saying that I can... I can last down there. In the confined space a little longer, you know? Not that I'm planning on going anywhere. Yeah, that's the... Golden question that you're dancing around. Are you going somewhere? I'm not... I'm not... I'm not dan... I'm not dancing. I'm just saying that it doesn't seem like I'd find any better place. Oh, I mean, it is kind of ideal. It's pretty... Oh, shit. Yeah, what? Of course they heard the buggy. Oh, no, this is easy peasy. We got plenty of time. What the hell happened? Uh, what was that? It's not starting. Why, why isn't it starting? No, 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 no. There's no way. What the hell is this? I didn't make this up. Well, what did you find? Can you can you fix it? No, it's it's a remote cutoff. It's not my design. What does that mean? Run! Run! Ah, oh, shit! <sighs> Why am I always the one that has to be on foot? Yeah, well, maybe it's the universe trying to tell you something. Ah, oh, shut up, all right? Not now! <sighs> Move faster! I am trying to run as fast as I can. <sighs> They're not far now. What's, oh, what is that? It's Anita. It's Buck. And, uh, Anna. Oh, what the hell? No way. No, 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 no. You couldn't have come up something better? Where the hell is your ride? It died. Art, right, well, then get your ass on this horse. Oh, can she carry both of us? But Wiley's really strong. 
here, I got you. All right, you. fine. What happened? The engine was cut. <clears throat> I don't know, just go. Come on, go, go, go. I don't mind. Go, come on, get it up. Come on, get, get, get up moving, come on. I told you, this thing isn't starting either. Horses fucking hate me. Follow. Come on. Look, you dumb piece of shit horse. Right there, those things want to eat us. See, so you better fucking get moving. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Ride, motherfucker, ride. Run, we get to the barn. Jump off and open the door. Got it. And get ready. Rest. Now. Whoa! Go right in. All right, go wild. Go on. We're in. Woo! Woo. <laughs> that was good, Robin. That was good, Robin. Besides, I'm oh, nearly man. dying. My legs. Whoa, easy. easy. It's okay, it's me. I'll get off. So, I've never seen a horse do that before. You know how many times I've heard that? I'm telling you, someone in my bloodline killed the horse king or something. I stopped trying to figure it out. I'm just glad you're safe. Yeah, we almost weren't. Our engine was killed. Straight up sabotage? I don't know, but I never noticed that addition to the ignition line. To me, it looks like it was triggered remotely. Who would do that? Who's the only person that could do that? We should confront her now. Yeah, but we're covered in dust, so we might want to change first. All right, if what you said is right, then she already knows we were outside. Do we have to say anything? No matter what, she's going to notice the buggy is missing. Hey, you guys okay? What's going on? All right, go back to bed, man. We got this. You need my help? You'll find out eventually. This will save time. Whatever. We need to talk to her now. You don't think this can wait until morning? No, not if she left us high and dry out there. Look, you did go outside when she said not to. And that warrant's being left for dead? You went outside? And she killed our engine out there. We would've been sitting ducks if Puck and Anita didn't come along. Gloria did that. Are you sure? I found the remote cutoff switch. Are you absolutely positive? Look, it sounds like you're about to accuse your friend and landlord of attempted murder. Yes, I understand what's about to happen, and I'm just going to ask a simple question about the cars that I happen to maintain. That is it, Carl. Well, somebody better be dead or dying. Somebody almost did! Everyone looks like they're okay. Did you cut off our engines? What engines? To the buggy. Why was it running? Late night diagnostic? When did you install the cutoffs, Gloria? Mm, I don't know. A while ago. Well, they are my cars, so I can do with them what I want. But when our lives are at stake. Oh, I see. So, so what you're really saying is that you took the buggy to the surface. I just wanted some air. You shouldn't have kept that from us. It would have been fine. You go topside on your own? with one of my vehicles, joyride, and then get mad when it shuts off. You know, I did warn you not to go up there. So you just left us to die. You actually switched it off? The vehicles have a proximity sensor in case someone tries to steal what's mine. You drive too far, engine shuts off. You stranded yourself out there. Lucky to make it back here at all. And as for everything else you just told me, I'll deal with it in the morning. What's with all the shouting? Muldoon? We'll talk then. Oops. Did you have to say something? Yes. So you think we made things worse? Gloria's pretty forgiving. I'm sure we'll be fine. And what about Muldoon? How long has that been going on? They won, man. Sorry. You gotta be kidding me. This is our floor. Good night. Yep, glad we didn't die. Now, good night to you too, sweetheart. Good night, Buck. Oh, isn't that adorable? Hey, shut up. Hey, I noticed a little bit of straw in her hair. Oh, you did, did you? That's what I thought, you dirty dog. <laughs> hey, a hey, gentleman never tells. Seems like things are going great for Puck and Muldoon. 
Whoa, don't leave me out. I got some too. Great, great. So just me. Hey man, it's not a competition. No, it's not, it's not, it's not, alright? Things just, they worked out for us. You know, not you, but us. It's okay. It's very unfair. Well, I guess just come into my room. Hey, you buy what Gloria set up there? What, the kill switch thing? That it was automatic? Yeah, you think that's true? Hold on. Is this place bugged? No, no, I checked for cameras and mics the minute I moved in here. Who's that? It's me. Carl. Hey, man, I, uh... Whoa, whoa, what the whoa, hell, whoa, man? Easy. Like you don't know. Oh, for shit's sake, back off, all right? You want to deal with the shit? Close the damn door. Every time that I was with you and you'd send me off, you were really fucking Gloria. Not every time. Just most of the time. You piece of shit. Hey, 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 Carl, don't hit him again. You used me! No, I didn't. She's just not into you. What do you want me to say? You knew I liked her. You're seriously saying I should have turned down incredible, exhausting, and oftentimes weird sex with Gloria Anderson, the hottest fucking action star of all time, because you think you had dibs. You could have at least told me something. You know, not gotten my hopes up. You did that to yourself! All right, as much as I'd love to see you two dumbasses duke it out, we got a more serious question to answer here. Yeah, seriously. And maybe, Muldoon, you can tell us something. You were with Gloria, right? Is this what you were arguing about? You hear what was said? Most of it. Well, where were you, like an hour ago? Well, where was she, rather? I don't know. We were pretty active, guys. You're gonna have to be more specific. She was completely out when we left you. Yeah, she got her second, third, and fourth wind, I guess. <sighs> okay, so did she ever leave you alone? Well... Several times she had to excuse herself to, you know, clean up. I hate you. It's official. I hate you. That's not my fault! They want to know all the details, apparently. Was she gone for an extended period of time during one of those? Yeah. Maybe. Why? Well, she had access to all kinds of panels in each room. She could have killed the engine at any time. And you notice how she said you were lucky? Like, she already knew what happened? Yeah, yeah. Sounds like you guys did some dumb shit anyway. Why are you messing this up for the rest of us? I didn't do anything. I've done nothing wrong. Relax, it's gonna be fine. She's, she's gonna get over it. She most definitely did not get over it. But I'll have to get into that later. It's getting late. Oh, dang. Yeah. Just knows the time. Seemed like my mom and Robbins got along. They did. Under different circumstances, they might have, uh... What? I'll get there. There's not much more now. Good night. We're Alive will return after this short message from other non-infected humans. Message received. Let's get back to the show. Be there by the afternoon. Beware. Oh. Can I say? Keep your mouth shut. Yes, sir. No spoilers. Earphones on. We'll be leaving in a second. Hey. Hey. Hey, Putz. Hola. All right, he can't hear me. Good. Gloria was pissed, wasn't she? About the joyride? Oh boy, was she ever. Hello. Good morning, ladies. Oh, good. We're all going at the same time. This is late for me. I'm usually there to make breakfast. I just couldn't sleep last night. Hey, y'all, you couldn't have fooled me. You look great. Liar. I couldn't sleep much either. What's she gonna do? Look, this is ridiculous. You're overreacting. We're gonna be fine. When Gloria comes down for breakfast... Good morning. Gloria! You're up. And you made breakfast. 
If you wouldn't mind, please have a seat. If you wouldn't mind, can I take a look at the kill switch you put in? Rhonda! Okay, so, let me make one thing perfectly clear. Each and every one of you is my guest. The place where you sleep, the food you eat, the water you drink, and the shit that you leave in the toilet. Everything I either have to provide or deal with. Oh, aren't you the savior? We are very grateful for what you've done. We didn't mean to- Okay, let's just not dig that hole any deeper. You went to the surface on your own and bad things happened. Because you didn't warn us about a kill switch. Uh, I that is the big deal, Gloria. I warned you about going outside. And that should be enough. Oh yeah, and who cares if we get stranded or we have to use a car in an emergency? Someone steals one of my vehicles, I have a system in place that doesn't let it get very far. It's not my duty to explain every detail when I've already given you a warning. Most importantly, you went outside! I'm sorry, but you can't expect people to just sit down here, bottled up forever. Why not? We know the harsh circumstances above us. It seems like a reasonable requirement. Do you know what happened to the barn? What they did to it after your stunt? How bad's the damage? Well, it's not good. We're really sorry this happened, aren't we? It was, it, I, I was only helping to get them back in. I wasn't even there. All right, look, it was my fault, okay? I'm the one that pushed her into going up there. Well, that makes me feel a little better. I guess we just weren't thinking clearly, were we? Mm-hmm. So, we're good, right? Yeah, totally. You know, but I'm just, uh, I'm not quite finished. What does that mean? There is a code that lets you back into the Atlas that has now been changed to something that only I know. If you decide to leave again, you will not be able to get back inside. And if you don't like it, and this goes for everyone, you are free to leave. But what you will not be taking is whatever is mine, including any ammo, rations, water. You leave with what you came with. Which was practically nothing. Yeah, I, did, I really didn't want this conversation. It's so awkward. But your little stunt has now damaged my property. It will cost me time and resources. So make no mistake, this is definitely your fault. Just gonna throw this out there? Not everybody was involved. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I hear what you're saying, but Muldoon, that really doesn't matter because this is the way that it has to be. That's kind of fucked up. Enjoy your breakfast. Wow. Gloria, that is some passive aggressive shit. Gloria, wait. Where are you going? I'm gonna go fix your fuck ups. So who's hungry? Ugh, really? Is there any more bacon? Go away. Come on, Gloria, it's Carl. Uh, I'm serious. Come on, just, just talk to me. No, go away. Well, I would. But you have my keys. Fine. I threw them in the street. My car! Someone's stealing my car! Oh, I loved filming that scene. Carl. The smart one. Come on in. Listen. I wanted to apologize for what happened. It's not the end of the world. Sure, I had to lay down the law. But I gotta protect them. Even from themselves. I can understand that. You want something to drink? I, I have it all. How about Mr. Pibb? Yeah, I, I have Mr. Pibb. Seriously? Yeah. Look, I'm your genie in the silo. Your wish is my command. So. Why not try something harder than this again? We never get to really talk, huh? Just, you know, you and I. Do we, Carl? Honestly, no. Okay. Well, then let's cheers to Carl Thomas. 
Oh, you have to tell me everything you know about him. <laughs> okay. Uh, to me. Yeah. <sighs> good. Oh. Good. <sighs> okay. Well, how about another? She's absolutely crazy. No doubt. The way she reacted, you saw me. I tried to take the heat. It's harsh, but you broke her one rule. Stop rocking the boat, dude. No, 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 no. It's got nothing to do with us. Think about Rhonda and Anita. Are they prisoners here or something? No, no, it doesn't seem like it. I, I already talked to Anita about that. Yeah, what'd she say? Someone broke her rules. She has every right to be mad. I don't know. It, it makes me concerned. All right, mostly about you. You're sweet, but I'm fine. Look, Rhonda did break the rules, and Gloria knows you and I just went out to help her. We're in the clear. Yeah, but maybe Robbins is a little right about you not being able to go up and get any fresh air. You see what happens. So far, she's been right. The world, it's, it's dead up there. They don't know that there are other options, that there's other places they can go. And you think we should tell them about where we're really from? And just tank everything we have going on here? Are you crazy? We'd have food and security forever. This place is amazing. Well, actually, Rhonda doesn't think so. And they've been here a hell of a lot longer than we have. Holy fuck, I cannot believe she's trying to restrict me from shit that I maintain. She doesn't even know how to work it. I do. And like, I couldn't find out a way to add my own code for the door. It is ridiculous. All right, all right, just relax. Oh, don't tell me to relax. I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay? I'm sorry, I'm just saying that, yeah, yes, yes, she's mad, okay? But this will blow over, it's no big deal. No, I don't believe that it will. You don't know Gloria like I do, because this just feels like one more rock on an already growing wall of bullshit. Uh, come on. Seriously. This place, the silo, it's freaking cake. It's easy street. Cake. That's what you think this is? Cake. Okay. Robbins, you have not been around. When we first got here, we were able to go outside. It was amazing. Hell, the town had been infected, but it wasn't so bad. She let us go out there. But then every event that's happened since, she's just used it as this way to restrict us even further. Wander outside, just have a gun. Okay, so we did that. And then it turned into only outside in pairs. And then it was all of us or none of us at all, like some fucking bad three musketeers. And now in here, we have less places to go. She controls every single move in here, every single room that we go in and monitors it all. So with the cutoff switch, I don't know if I could possibly believe her. Huh. I, I guess I didn't think about it like that. So, what are you gonna do? Complain and do nothing about it. Because what other option is there? There is nowhere else that we can possibly go. Huh. Yeah, it's too, too bad, I mean. Right? Uh, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Uh, I might have an option. What? You told her about the colony? I mean, it kind of slipped out. It sounded like you kind of volunteered it. Why would you do that? Because Gloria totally killed our buggy last night. Okay, we don't know that for sure. Now, Rhonda's gonna tell Anita, and now it's gonna look like I've been lying to her. No, I told her not to say anything. They're sisters, man. So then he told me there's a ton of people at this colony, and they struggle, but then they work through it, and they're looking for more people to join wait, them. Wait, 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 wait. Go back. They struggle? So they get attacked uh, all the time? Anita, not since they have soldiers watching the place. How much did you tell her, man? It wasn't that much. Well, good job. Now we're going to have to deal with Gloria finding out. No way. She isn't that stupid. There's no way Rhonda or Anita would tell her. You know what that sounds like to me? That sounds like they don't have Carl's best interests in mind. No. No, they don't. And I get a little ragging on me, and it's fun, but not all the time. Yeah, and they don't understand how it wears on you. No, they have no idea, but they keep laughing. Well, I mean, is it any easier when you're all at home? <laughs> Are you kidding me? 
like the whole colony's in on the joke. They make fun of you too? All the time. It's non-stop. Having sex with Carl's mom, who's dead by the way. And if I say anything, then it's overly emotional Carl. It's ridiculous. Hmm. And how many people would you say do that on a daily basis? I mean, you know, where you're from? Like three or four. Uh... Yeah, no, what's, what's the colony, Carl? Was that home? Uh, look, yeah, um... I'm sorry, we came from there, but... I mean, this place is so much better. And where is this colony? Uh, I, I can't. Security, you know? Well, if you can't tell me where you're from, why not tell me where you were going? Um... Pass? What the hell is going on, Carl? Look, there's a lot of reasons that I can't say anything to you, but you gotta believe me. It's great here, and this place is amazing and better than any place that we've been before. Go on. No, seriously, I, I couldn't have hoped for a better home. We didn't want to say anything before because, you know, I mean, we just didn't know who we could trust. Oh, I know exactly how you feel. Look, you know, I think I had a little too much to drink, and I said some things I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. Carl, I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything, whenever you want. I can? Of course. Why would you think you can't? Well, because you're Gloria Anderson. Oh, please. And that matters now? This is what I've been trying to tell everyone. And they just, they don't get it, Carl. We need each and everyone else. Now, more than ever. Our past lives don't matter. Exactly. Look, I was an actor, and you were a manager at Blockbuster. Yeah. But that's over now. The world sucks. But it's safe down here. We have everything we need. And even more now that we have each other. What more could anyone want? I don't know. Exactly, Carl. Look, things might change topside, but up there it's a roll of the dice. It's a risk. And down here, oh, we're good. I get that. I really do. Yeah, good, because, you know, I really wish the others did. Oh, look, I appreciate the talk if it's all right. I just, I need some time to process all of this, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, I'll check in with you later. Thank you, Carl. Okay, yeah, uh, been a, been a long day. Yeah, it has. Oh, man. Yeah, probably, you know. But, I, you know, have a good night. I will. And you know my door's always open, so. Great. There's Great. that, but. Uh, do you want me to close it right I now? I do want you to close okay, the door, okay. though. Yeah. That would be better for right yeah, now. You know, you don't want rats coming in. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, maybe. Uh-huh. All right, well, uh, talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, uh, really, whenever you need me. No big deal. Yep, uh-huh. I, I, I get it. Just, uh, could you go, Carl? Yep. Anytime. Try today. Ooh, maybe some cranberry skunk cow? Hmm, perhaps some northern sour snatch. Nah, today sounds like a day for some good old blue monkey fist. What the? That's it, it's all over. 
I've been locked out of my green paradise. Heaven's fallen and it's all fucked up now. Well, you think Gloria changed your access? Well, of course she did. I got into the green room last night just fine. It's all good, man. It's all good. Relax. She's pissed right now, sure. But maybe she's just trying to make a point, you know? Watch. Everything is going to be fine. <laughs> this is lunch? No, this is great. We're very thankful, aren't we? Sure we are. Mmm, yay. Soup. Well, I like it. Me too. Oh, hey, Coral. Yeah? Your nose, it's covered right now. Oh. Huh. Well, so is yours. Could you not do that? So I eat soup. That's so ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know if I'm that hungry. I uh, wish there was something that could change that. Locked out of the weed room? I noticed my code to the garage doesn't work either. Oh? Yeah, I was gonna work on that engine rebuild. So well, that could wait for now. Oh my god. We have a few other systems that need attention first. Oh, you mean me. I have to fix them. We have a few priorities. Stop it. And then access will resume to other areas. Is that how it's gonna go from now on? Here we go. I mean it. First outside, now you can just cut us off from places in our own home that we've gone to hundreds of times. Temporarily. The circumstances have changed. Look, the barn got wrecked, a mistake was made, let's just work on fixing our shit and getting past this. But what about the innocent bystanders that did nothing wrong? You sure about that? What does that mean? You better stop it, Robbins. I'm not joking. Uh, no, I want to know, what did I do? I may have reason to believe your credibility upon entry may have been compromised. I know where you're from. Carl! <coughs> what did you say? Why do you always assume it's me? Well, was it you? Really, dude? Seriously, Carl? Ah, oh, fuck it, it slipped, alright? I'm sorry. Well, I guess you guys need to figure out if you want to stay. Until then... I knew it. I knew you'd fuck this up for us, Carl. You can't go two days without opening your fucking mouth. You know what? Shut the fuck up! I don't want to hear it! We already talked about coming from the colony, and she's cool with it. She understands why we didn't say anything, and if you just shut your big mouths for two seconds, you might hear her say that. I was not doing that. What I was saying... No, 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 no! I'm talking, and you listen! Do you ever appreciate any of the things that I have done for you guys? Would you be here if it wasn't for me? How many times over? I finally get it. I finally get it. You just don't give a shit about me. That is not true. You didn't know I worked at Blockbuster because you never asked me a damn thing about myself. Look, Carl, obviously we got some shit we gotta work out between we us. We do. I'm sorry. All right? I didn't Did you mean... really cut access because of where they came from? What matters to me is this place. And you can do whatever you damn well please with it and anyone inside. She's not saying that. Okay. What I got from their story is that it sounds to me like there are other options out there still, and you were wrong. How many people have died from infected attacks at this place you're from? A lot. So, are there really any other options? Well, that is just one. Maybe if we actually oh, looked, what Rhonda, was- the door is open. I'm not keeping any of you here. Aren't you, though? I'm full. I've got snacks in my bunk. Mm. Uh, you wanna? Yeah, of course. Go, 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 go. Whatever. I see how it is. <sighs> you're still here? Look, I know you're mad. But can you just give me five minutes in the green room? Oh my god. Just five minutes. Joint custody of Bertha? One hit. Just one hit. How about you take the hit and you can blow it in my mouth? I don't care. We're alive. Gold Rush will return next week. Written, directed, and produced by K.C. Wayland. Starring Brett Newton. Tony Reyes, Sean Lewin, Christian Vieira, Austin Trace, Christy Carlson Romano, 
Brenna Otts, Aaron Breen. Additional voices by K.C. Whalen. And me, I'm Michael Swan. Produced by Brett Newton, Tony Reyes, Sean Lewin, Christian Vieira. Associate producers, Shanti Riley, Lauren Kroon, Blair Whalen. Casting by David Seiden, Vanessa Knight. Original music by Danny Burkoff Hopkins. Supervising sound designer, Casey Whalen. Sound designers, Michael Keane, Ryan Lincoln. For more info about the show and a complete list of cast and crew, visit us at www.we'realive.com. We'd like to thank the entire team at Podcast One. As the leading podcast network, they have made it possible to bring this series to life for you. And they have more than 200 of today's best podcasts easily accessible on the free Podcast One app. This has been a Theater for the Mind by Wayland Productions. Dedicated to Nick. In the next chapter of We're Alive... Things were not good between us at this point. Things were just falling apart. The grass is always greener on the other side. it's literal grass. It's not like everything else in this room that is just fake. Get in here, whatever room this is. Sir, you mind stepping in here? It's always something. And you believe them? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Look, man. I know we have our shit, okay? But, But this is serious. We watch each other's backs. And I've always got yours.